Hi guys, um, I'm finally getting around to editing all this footage from the hospital, so I just wanted to add this quick into each of the videos. This video is several parts because there ended up being so much footage, um, and so this is going to be in front of every video, so if you're on part two or three, you're seeing this again, but I am sorting through all the footage, and there's a few things I want to say quick. Um, one. I am so not myself in this in these videos. I as I'm watching this, I'm like, "Wow, you're really slow." Like pain meds kind of a they were affecting me a little bit. And it's funny. At the time I felt totally fine, but nope, I can definitely tell that I was uh I was on pain meds. And two. So, this entire vlog, I'm itching my face. And there's I have a good reason for that, okay? The reason that this entire vlog is me itching my face is because pain meds, specifically oxycodone and morphine, make me very itchy. And most of this hospital stay, I was in horrible pain, except for when I had just had pain meds. Um, and right after I'd had pain meds, the pain was low enough that I was able to pick up the camera. Um, but also, since I just had pain meds, I was also in the window of time where I was very itchy. So <laughs> that's why all of this footage is me like itching my face because pain meds. So I just wanted to say that because I can just imagine all the comments being like, why are you itching your face? Like, wow, you're itching your face a lot. It's like, yep, I know. <laughs> so I'm just now getting around to editing, to finishing up editing all this footage. It's taken me a long time, um, about three and a half weeks, but hopefully, well, you guys are seeing this now, so these vlogs are up, but I'm so glad that I was able to film this for you and share my story um, of my surgeries with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the videos, and thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Love you guys! So I just did an x-ray of my tube to uh, um, see if they could see like anything around the tube and the tube's in the right place and everything. Um, my intestines are looking better so that's good. The doctor came in today and he he's not quite sure it's infected which we're all like we kind of think it's infected but he said it's still possible that it's not um, but it's oozing a lot and it's hard and painful so and red but you know whatever they're culturing it stuff has grown so far but they're not sure like bacteria is just naturally present on your skin so they're they bacteria, but nothing has yeah they found bacteria but nothing like significant has grown yet so we're still doing IV antibiotics so I have some visitors coming and planning on <laughs> filling in some of this journal it's like a weird every page is something random on it like let's see what are three of the nastiest insults you can possibly imagine write them here make a list of food textures that gross you out like for example the feeling of beans popping in your mouth or the creamy chunkiness of cottage cheese so yeah it's just a list of random things so I'm gonna do that and finish my movie which I did finish passengers yesterday after like four days but I started Storks in the middle of the night. I was in the mood for like a kid movie, so I'm gonna finish that now. Visitors, say hi. It's from my YouTube channel. So GI yeah, came in, it is infected, um, and he might have to go back down to like fluoroscopy or interventional radiology and advance the J tube portion because it's kind of backing up a little bit. And he's not sure if it's going to cause some problems, so he's going to have to um, potentially do that. But I'll be more sedated for that, so it won't hurt as much. Um, but he had to come in and he had to loosen the tube because it was too tight against my skin with all the swelling and everything that happened. And um, that was lots of tears, and I'm still in a lot of pain from that. But... There was, um, he couldn't get the two pieces back together, and so he's trying and trying and trying, and eventually, 
I tried and then I was able to get it, so. <sighs> so yeah, he loosened the tube. That was super painful. It's still really painful and I'm having a, <laughs> the pain meds aren't really helping a whole lot right now, so we're gonna see if we can get some more. But, and I will not be going home today. I will maybe go be going go home tomorrow, but I definitely not today. So, after a long time of being in a lot, a lot, a lot of pain, they gave me my regular dose of Oxy plus some morphine, which in the past, like, week, morphine has not done anything. And the combination of the two are actually helping. So, I'm still in pain, but I'm not screaming. That's always a plus. So, I don't know, maybe we'll watch another movie or maybe I'll try to take a nap. Fun fact, I've never seen the real Beauty or the original Beauty and the Beast. Some of us have changed. Good morning, guys. I get, I get meds in like 15 minutes. I'm gonna get up and get ready. I'm gonna change my pajamas, brush my teeth, get just get a little ready. Um, I typically do that every morning just because it helps me feel a little bit better. Um, I hope, hope, hope I can go home today. The hardness around my tube is much, much better. I'm still in quite a bit of pain, but that's gonna last for a little while until the infection's gone. Um, but, yeah, so. Also, I wanna say something after I'm all ready and my mom's kind of sleeping over there, so I don't want to make this, like, little speech. I don't know. But I do want to say something, so I'll have to remember that. The doctors are going to be coming around soon. Um, I might have to be sedated today for them to advance my J-tube. Um, but I'm not sure what the plan is for that. They're going to take another x-ray, check the placement of it, and see if that needs to happen. Also, I'm up to my goal rate of feeds, so that's good because we restarted those last night. I don't know if I'll get to go home tonight. My infection levels in my blood and inflammation levels are up, which the doctor said in order to go home, we need to see those stabilize and go down. Maybe I'll get to go home tonight, I'm not sure. Still having lots of like icky drainage around my tube, still definitely infected, still having lots of pain, but it's being well controlled by pain meds yesterday, last night and tonight, so, and today, so that's good. So also I changed into some new pajamas, got cleaned up, so yeah, now I'm going to change this nasty dressing on my tube site. There you go, that's what it looks like now, and I have to do that multiple times every day because there's so much drainage from the infection. Um, but, yeah, I think once the infection's gone, I'll have to do that, like, I don't know, I think twice a day or something like that. But I ordered some cute fabric tube pads, so those will be here. They're supposed to ship today, so. So, G.I. just came around here for another day. Uh, we'll see about going home tomorrow. My labs just, the infection levels went up again. And before they send me home, I need to make sure those are going down or at least not going up anymore. So, um, I most likely will go home on IV antibiotics. Which means I'll probably just re-access my port before I go home. Because it's been accessed for a while and if I'm going to be on IV antibiotics. I don't know. So, 
yeah, I'm going to be here for another day. But my doctor came around. He's like, just get a wheelchair. Go outside. He's like, go go to the gift shop. Take a walk. Just get get out of here for a little while. Like, obviously you can't leave, but you can't. There's no reason to be stuck in your room. So, like, take a wheelchair. Clear your head. So, I think that's the plan. So, after the rest of the team comes around, we're going to go and just take some time and get my head away from the hospital. So, a dog came to visit, and this is Pascal. She's so cute. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. He's cute, and he's very soft. How old is he? We are outside, and look, they have this really cool garden. It's like a, here, can you stop for a second, Mom? Can you take, it's like a big ring, but they have like sculptures in different places. Like there's one over there, there's one over there, there's like an owl one there. There's the lynx, because it's Minnesota. Like the links. Yeah, it's pretty though. Owl. I see. I don't know if there's anything else on. I don't know if there's more on the side of this bridge or not. Otter. Wow, I would not have thought that was an otter. I thought it was maybe a cat. I thought it was a cat too. But it's an otter. I'll zoom in so you guys can see. It's an otter. I thought it was a cat. Interesting. Yeah. Those things, those trees look like they have eyes on them, and that's yeah, really do. creepy. The bear. Oh, with the baby bear. Looking up at oh, it. Guys, we've just never understood these eggs. I don't, if you know what's behind, like what these represent or like what they mean, I, let me know, like let me know in the comments because they have these eggs. And I don't get it and I've never gotten them. So let me know. We're going home, it's like, 9.45 in the morning and all the doctors came around super early so we got a plan in place and I'm going home so I have about two hours left most likely and I'm gonna go get dressed go to the bathroom start packing everything up and we're gonna go home hopefully for the last time